Okay, good morning everyone. Uh, I'm truly overwhelmed, you know, this was, uh, you know, this kind of welcome was unexpected and I'm, I'm really, really, you know, honored to be in this position and uh, I'd like to thank um, the principal and the vice chairman and all the students over here. I was told that there are students from grade 11th and 12th. Um, uh, I'd like to really thank you for giving this opportunity to me uh, to, you know, meet you and talk to you. I don't have a prepared speech, but um, I'll definitely like to share some of my personal experiences. Uh, as Silpi said, I was uh, born and brought up in Bhubaneswar. The first 17 years of my life uh, I have spent in Bhubaneswar. Um, then, you know, I have spent, you know, more than 30 years in the U.S., but I have always had a strong attachment for this city. I visit almost every year, more than once per year. And during the last few years, I have visited this uh, school multiple times. And my last visit was when you guys were celebrating Unwind. And you know, I have watched the musical performance right in that field during my last visit to the school. So uh, I'm really delighted to be again over here. And uh, so since um, you all are from 11th and 12th grade, you are kind of entering a transition in your life uh, that will define uh, the success that you will have, you know, during the next phase of your life when you get out of the school, go to college and pursue further studies and a career which uh, you would like. Now, uh, I said that you, you all of you want to have a successful career. So first thing is, how do you define success? So success is not like a specific, uh, you know, whether you want to do engineering path or medical path, you know, that, that comes secondary. But success is something that makes you happy, that gives you satisfaction during, you know, the pursuance of your career path as you proceed through, your, uh, through the next stage of your life. You know, I have two children and, you know, one of them uh, is in college in third year engineering and my, my son, that's my son and my daughter uh, just completed the 12th grade. So I can relate to my conversation uh, with them and I give them a lot of advice and most of it is usually ignored as students uh, or the kids do uh, about their parental advice. But I'm assuming that some of you will will at least take some of my advices as you go forward. So, I won't be taking much of your time and bore you with too many advices, but let me highlight uh, three things, okay? I'm not going to tell you to, um, you know, work hard and, you know, you know, study all the time. You know, those cliches, I will not tell you that. And since I have defined success in a very broad sense, that brings happiness to you and brings satisfaction to you as you move forward in your career pursuance during the next stages of your life. Uh, let me just identify three things that really fascinates me and I have personally pursued those three things in the pursuance of my career and you know my professional paths and all. So, first thing is, uh, and these are very simple things, first thing is time. Okay, you'll think, okay, what's the de big deal about time? Okay, time is, if you think more about it, it's a very peculiar thing and you may not have thought deep about it. That is one thing that makes each and every individual almost equal at the beginning of every day. So think about it. Last night at 12 o'clock, you were given next 24 hours as one day. That was the same time given to Bill Gates. That was the same time of 24 hours in a day given to Donald Trump. That was the same time given to the Prime Minister Modi. That was the same time given to me, me given, that was the same time given to you. So each of us get a quota of 24 hours every day to do something. It is up to you on how you want to use it. The other nice thing about time is it, is, it has a memory-less property. How you use your time today has got no impact on what quota you get in the next day. You will still get 24 hours. You get that quota of 24 hours every day and everyone 
gets that equal share every day. Nothing else in life is as fair as time, okay? Wealth, opportunities, knowledge, environment, and all the luxuries and everything, nothing is spreaded equal in the world, and they don't have to be. But time is one peculiar thing that is shared equally among all of us. So, the bottom line here is that is a very precious resource and it depends on how well you use it. The, the efficiency at which you use time, that will define, you know, how you can use that for achieving the success and I will remind you is success is the way you define, okay? So you define what you call as your success, use your time in achieving those and that will help you a lot as you proceed through your career in the next stages of your life, okay? Irrespective of what career path you take, you know, these, these things are valuable for all types of careers that you pursue. Okay, so that's one thing. Number two is innovation, okay? So innovation is not related, you know, most people think innovation is related to, you know, Apple making iPhones and those kind of things. That's only a small, you know, a narrow track of technological innovation. You can have innovation in any aspect of your career pursuance. There will be innovation in liberal arts, humanities, social sciences, and any other field that you take doesn't have to be technology always. And innovation, the first and foremost thing about innovation is how you think, okay? So the thought process helps in guiding you through innovative paths, okay? I'll use the cliche of thinking outside the box, which, you know, you might have heard a lot. But I'll tell you something beyond that. In order to think outside the box, the first step is you have to step outside the box. You cannot think well about what is outside the box by being within the box, so you have to stay out. That will help you in thinking outside the box. By that, what I mean is you have to get outside your comfort zone. Innovation happens when you are outside your comfort zone, when you are at discomfort, when you are hungry, when you are kind of, you know, striving to do something and kind of not being able to get what you want to get. You know, those type of discomforts, they lead to innovation. So you have to first drive yourself out of your comfort zone, get out of the box, and then start thinking, you know, how you can, you know, pursue different paths and, you know, think through it innovatively. So thinking innovatively about, you know, what you want to do, that is a very useful thing. And again, all these things that I'm preaching here are not easy to pursue. You have to make an effort in there, okay? Okay, so that's number two. So time and be innovative. And innovation also leads to creativity. So you can, you know, pursue your creative dreams through innovations. The third thing is, as you go through, and the third thing, you will probably realize the value of it a bit later in your career, you know, when you go into an advanced stage in your career or in your professional paths or in your life, is to make an impact and to contribute to the society and the world as a whole. At the end of the day, you know, the human civilization or the, the entire human population, the earth and the world will not exist if we don't contribute, if we don't make an impact to give back to the society, to give back to the world, to give back to the environment and earth. So whatever you do in your career, whatever you pursue in your path, in addition to you know, pursuing the luxuries and all the desires that you have and all the way that you would have defined your success, do take some time to think, you know, how and where you can contribute to the world, okay? How you can give back, you know, you are, you are being, or you are what you are because the world has given you a lot of opportunities. The world has given you the environment. The world has given you food. The world has given you air to breathe and all. So there are a lot of things that you take for granted is out there 
because you know we give back to the environment we give ba give back to the society and you know that's how the population moves on from generations to generations so while you are pursuing your career also think about that on how you can contribute back to the society back to the world back to the environment and make this world a better place in there okay so those are the three things if i want to you know um repeat first i said you know give very importance to time respect time time is like god okay you have to respect time in order to succeed in life use innovation to be creative you know you you have to think innovatively your thoughts should be aligned towards better innovation in order to you know make you uh, route through the success path that you would have defined and the third thing is giving back and creating an impact to the society and to the earth and to the environment and basically to the human kind okay you have to remember those three things i'm not saying that there are not any other things but you know just you know while thinking in the last 5 10 minutes i've come through these three things that are kind of uh, been uh, guiding force for me as i have uh, driven through my career paths again i would since you know all of you are getting ready to um, go to the next phase of your life i would like to say that you know dream high you know don't don't worry about failures you would have failures i personally had many failures you know when when they introduce you for things like that they talk about your successes but behind each and every success steps there are multiple failures i know it and i can share those also if you want to but there are many more failures i had in life than the number of successes and most successful people will tell you that so don't worry about failures those are the stepping stones in order to guide uh, you forward dream big dream high add wings to your dreams and that that will you know take you on to the next phases of your life thank you very much